And now to another top story we're following. At the same time, Louisiana lawmakers were on the House floor debating solutions to crime. During a special session, New Orleans police were investigating two murders. More than 20 bills have already been considered. Amelia Strahan was in Baton Rouge today with a look at what was discussed. Lawmakers in Baton Rouge have set a grueling pace, one that some representatives say isn't giving them enough time to make decisions that will change lives. I think it's too fast. Um, as part of the Democratic um, caucus, um, I wish we had more transparency in rushing these kind of bills and we don't have full discussion. More than two dozen bills were considered by House and Senate committees, including one on the death penalty with mixed reaction. Another bill considered would decrease the post-conviction relief timeline down from two years to one. Lawmakers heard testimonies from exonerated men who spent years in jail for crimes that they didn't commit. Time limitations is very important. I stayed in prison 36 years, and two years after being convicted, I presented this evidence that showed that I could not have been a perpetrator of this crime. But it didn't seem to make a difference. The bill was approved and sent to the full House. Representative Laurie Schlegel from Metairie brought two bills to the table. One would crack down on carjackers, increasing minimum sentences from two years to five, more than doubling those sentences if the victim was injured. It's just one of those crimes that are very traumatic um, and has a, a, a huge increased risk for the victim. So we want to make sure we, we deter this crime. If passed, Schlegel's second bill would put fentanyl dealers behind bars for up to 99 years if they sell products that appeal to minors. Both bills advance to the House. In Baton Rouge, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. Tomorrow, the Criminal Justice Committee is expected to consider a bill eliminating parole eligibility for crimes committed by an adult.